Hey guys, this is Unreal, and welcome to another installment of Impressions, and today I'll be expressing my thoughts on the Resistance 2 beta. Okay, what do I think of it so far? This is fun as hell, and I, I, I'm very pleasantly su surprised by this. And even though it's just a beta, and the full game comes out in a few days, like early November, forget what, I forget the exact date, but I'm actually going to buy that. This is really fun, and I'll just start by playing the cooperative mode, which is really, really fun with eight people, believe me. It, it, it's just a fun as hell experience. Now, only downside I have with the beta co-op is, uh, you only get one map, that's it. But they make up for it for making the thing so goddamn long that it's almost impossible to beat it. No, it is possible to beat it, but... It does take a while just to get through the mission. And the game is full. That's not good. I want to join. Now, co-op kind of works a little differently. Um, there's a total of three classes that consist of the soldier, medic, and special ops. Now, I don't know if these are the only classes for co-op. I don't know if the final game will just have these, th these three, but... Each one has their own strengths and weaknesses. For example, Soldier, he's big in bulk, lots of health, he's definitely the killing guy. And he can throw grenades. The Medic can throw headshot grenades, and is the team healer, essential to the co-op. And we're gonna play as him. Then there's Special Ops, which, uh, it's technically the sniping class. And also the ammo supplier. And having all three together are very useful, because Trying to do a co-op game without a medic is almost suicidal. It is possible to beat it without a medic, but definitely recommended that you have a medic on hey your guys, team. Hey guys, we're on the other side. Oh, not now. Okay, since I'm playing as the medic, let's explain the gun. This is the standard healing gun, and of course you just... Your secondary fire heals your teammates, and your primary fire is attacking by draining their health and regaining yours, meaning that... You can pretty much 4 XP and health in this game. Although you can still die very easily, as you can see, I almost died. How was it? Lower. And every- and... You can level up in co-op and competitive, but right now... In co-op, uh, if you level up like, to level 2 for either character, you get their secondary weapon, which... Is the uh, standard carbine from my medic. Headshot grenade if you're given special ammo. See what I mean by XP4? Like, you see their, uh, you see, like, the XP constantly go up and up. Oh, and don't rely on your melee attack, it's kind of weak. Alright, uh, let's see. Also, when it comes to, uh, reviving your teammates, um, it, it depends. Either you can revive them manually, which is obviously quicker, or you, or if you're dead, you can just wait 30 seconds until you respawn. And of course, if everyone dies, game over. And it works really well, except sometimes when you respawn, you do not get spawn protection, meaning that you can die instantly as soon as you're back in the fight. Oh, also, each class has their specific uh, berserk power-ups, which the medic has the Ring of Life, where, of course, you regenerate health when you're in the Ring of Life. Makes sense. Let's revive him. Let's see? Now believe me, the game gets chaotic a lot, and I'm surprised that their freaking frame rate holds up through the entire thing. Oh, speaking of frame rate, let me explain graphics. Um, people say I've been hearing that the graphics are really good, and other people have been saying the graphics are almost the worst of the year. Really? Does this look like the worst graphics of the year? Uh, nah, not even close. For one, this is the beta, and two, even four beta, the game still looks great. Especially if all this action's going on screen. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Now I'm gonna try and change it up. Let's change class. And I actually like that you can change the class in the middle of uh, in the combat, but you have to die in order to change it. I don't want to risk dying because a lot of our teammates are apparently dead. Let's go! 
Rồi Oh shit, oh my god, am I surrounded? Oh shit Oh yeah, I'm surrounded, holy crap You just gotta love the medic and his little HP whoring techniques Okay. Them. There we go. Also, depending on what you do, you also get rewards. Like, for example, reviving a teammate gets to walk away from the light. Ashes to ashes apparently kill people with a medic gun. Which is very easy to constantly do. There's field medic if you keep healing people, and vice versa. There's a lot of rewards. For example, there's show off if you're the soldier and stuff, and I almost laugh. I almost kind of laugh. Now, one thing I want to explain: the controls. Well, if you were used to the first game's controls, uh, you might have issues here since some of the stuff was switched around. But by default, the controls are pretty damn solid. Although people might have issues with the sprint and the crouch combined together. Which you can turn off, thank god. But again, if you want to resort to the Resistance 1 controls, you can customize them any way you want, which is always a plus. Although there is no uh, toggle zoom option for your guns, which... Which they should have had. I mean, I don't want to... If you do want Resistance 1 controls, you're going to have to hold down the right side, like R3 if you want to zoom in. That can be a pain. I really want to try and show off the other classes, but I don't want to die in failed the mission, so I'm going to have to be risky. Save everyone first. Why does the melee have to be so goddamn weak? What the? Where is he? I'll save him. There you go. I don't think I could change the other class. I mean, I wish I could show it, because... Because special ops can drop ammo for people. A soldier is just a soldier, so he's the big buff guy. That's about it. Of course, medic is the healer. Wait, are they all gone? Yay! Now we get to fight a big guy. Well, this is gonna be fun. No, really, that's all I gotta cover in call because. This is the only mission they have, although despite being very long with uh, different paths to take, depending on, like, who knows what. Yeah, yeah, it's just completely random the way you go through the mission. Uh, you can start in a different area, or you can end in a different area in a different way. So there's a lot of replay value for the co-op so far. I really wish they could use, like, the other two levels that were uh, shown in uh, competitive, and I'll get to that in part two, though. Really, this is all I gotta say about co-op. It's fun, it's chaotic, and it, it's, it's, it's just a blast to play with other people. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. Oh, but one last thing before I go about the enemy AI. AI uh, enemy AI. Yeah. Um, I have mixed opinions. Sometimes, they can be smart and kill you very fast. And yes, they will kill you very fast because you do not have rechargeable health. Again, that's why you have to rely on the medic for co-op. But instead, like, other times they can be stupid and not move at all. Like, the big guy is a great example of this, unfortunately. But other than that, the AI is okay. I mean, if they were somewhat smarter and, like, didn't get, like, just stand still for, like, open firing crap, as you can see right here, and just desperately trying to shoot a teammates, then it would be solid. Other than that, that's all I gotta say about the co-op. Very fun, I wish I could show the other classes, but due to time limit, I won't be able to. Then I refuse to die. I'll just explain very quickly. The soldier has a heavy Gatling gun and a shotgun as secondary if you level up. And the special ops has a Halo 2 battle rifle type of thing with a electrical secondary fire and the bullseye. As their weapons. So, tune in to part 2 where I go ahead and play competitive, and hopefully don't get my ass kicked. <laughs>